A renewed push to ban holding your phone while driving in Louisiana moves through the state Senate unopposed. As Ashland Brothers reports, there are strong opinions on both sides of the measure. Supporters of Senate Bill 98 spoke their truth. At the point of impact, she wasn't pressing that button. Even though she was reading them, nothing's happened to her. So really, things need to be changed. Suzanne Salter says her daughter Nicole Klein was 32 when a distracted teen driver hit and killed Klein, leaving behind her then nine, eight, and two-year-old. The memories I have of her are very few, and now the only way I can feel my mother's love is through pictures and stories of her kind, wonderful soul. Salter says the youngest child suffers from separation anxiety, the middle self-harm to cope. The oldest has panic attacks, and her husband tried to commit suicide. The impact is never ending. Anthony Summers says as a crash victim, he's in favor of the legislation. I woke up in the middle of the bridge, sitting on the top of the bridge to four people sitting over me, and <clears throat> I was hit on my motorcycle, knocked off my motorcycle, and left to, uh, pretty much to, for dead. The bill from Senator Patrick McMath of Covington would prohibit handheld use of wireless devices while driving on any public roadway. In school zones, and work zones, using your phone would be a primary offense. Everywhere else, a secondary offense. I can't tell you how many times you see somebody on the interstate doing, doing 75 with their phone in front of their face watching Facebook videos. Those in opposition say it's government overreach. Some suggesting people will end up trying harder to hide their phones, distracting them even more. Please stop recklessly making laws which infringe on the mental peace of Louisiana citizens. You can no longer even, as this bill is written, support the phone with any part of your body. I currently, even with this, even with this headset on, I'm in violation. I'm in violation of this law. It is an intrusion into our personal liberty and personal space by the government that is absolutely, totally unnecessary. You cannot outlaw every distraction. You cannot outlaw eating a McDonald's hamburger, looking at a road sign, changing the channel on your on your radio or speaking to uh, your child in the back seat. Angela Nelson with AAA says research shows drivers using their cell phone are 12 times more likely to be involved in a crash. Louisiana absolutely has an auto insurance affordability problem. You have the most expensive auto insurance in the country. Car crash equals insurance claim. You have more crashes, you have more costly insurance claims, premiums go up. It's math. Adding Louisiana drivers are on their cell phones 30% more than any other drivers in the country, making our state the third highest rate of distracted driving in the U.S. And a first offense would be a fine between $50 and $100, and future offenses could include fines between $100 and $300 and community service. The fine is doubled for those involved in a crash. But some exceptions include reporting a crash, medical emergency, or if the person on the phone is at risk of being seriously hurt or killed. Meg?